I'd just like to give you a little review of the past year at my website, 538.com. We successfully predicted that Labour would win the British general election <laughs> and that Brexit would fail. No, Britain's hard to pull. We did a lot better domestically. We successfully predicted that Donald Trump would not win the Republican nomination and that Hillary Clinton would win the presidency. Okay, but as I said in the 538 Slack to Harry Enton, chief political editor, and Todd Vanderweff, chief culture editor, at the beginning of the Major League Baseball season, I swear to you, gentlemen, there is a 1% chance that the Cubs are going all the way. <laughs> what happened? It's like probability has failed me. Mathematics is breaking down. <laughs> There's only one possible explanation for all of this. There's only one thing that makes sense. I'm a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how or who gave me the gift, but I have the gift of anti-probability. <laughs> Everything I predict doesn't happen. <laughs> and I can use this. I can use this for you. Is there anyone here who is trying to find a job or wants a better job? Because let me tell you, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics has said that there's a 70% chance that the job market in 2017 is going to soften. See, the CIBC has released a report that says that full-time work in Canada is on the decline. Pakota Avrajonu! <laughs> You're going to be in a new office on Monday. <laughs> doing something that you love. Speaking of love, is there anyone here who's single? right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Cupid's data analysis people have released numbers that indicate that if you are single right now, there's a 90% chance you will be single all the way through March. You are more likely to be hit by a car Christmas shopping than you are to be swiped right on Tinder. <laughs> For Proplastoria! <laughs> Monday night, when you are fucking that person that you met at your <laughs> awesome new office job, I want you to scream, thank you, Nate. <laughs> they will understand. And if they didn't, it wasn't meant to be. I'm a wizard now. I can say stuff like that. <laughs> and maybe you're in a relationship right now with the wrong person. You want out. Well, I have news for you. If you're in a relationship right now, you're 95% likely to be stuck with them for the rest of your life. Repressio media! <laughs> On Monday night, you're going to come home. Your partner is going to be buck naked. They are going to be with someone you've never met before. They will look up at you, their face fresh from an orgasm, <laughs> and say, I just met them at the office. Yeah. <laughs> I am Nate Silver. I'm a wizard now. And with all my magical powers, I promise you, 2017 is going to be the worst year ever. <laughs> <laughs>
In the game, a humble but brilliant veteran cast vicariously as both victim and villain by the vicissitudes of fate. This visage, no mere veneer of vanity, is but a stage of the box populi now vacant, vanished. However, oh, honest. However, on this most valorous of evenings, allow me in the... <laughs> in view, a humble Baudelian veteran, cast vicariously as both victim and villain by the vicissitudes of fate, this visage, no mere veneer of vanity, is of stage of the box populi now vacant, vanished. However, in this visitation of most valid... <laughs> Bygone vexation stands vivified. <laughs> <laughs> or he would stand vivified if he could breathe through this mask. <laughs> <laughs> and has vowed to vanquish the most vile, virulent, vermin, vanguarding vice, and vouchsafing the violently vicious and voracious violation of volition. The only verdict is vengeance. A vendetta held is a vote of naught in vain, for the value and veracity of such shall one day vindicate the vigilant and the virtuous. <laughs> Verily, this fishy soise of verbiage beers most verbose. So let me simply add that it's my very good honor to meet you, and you may call me V. I saw it coming, you know. I saw it a mile away. <laughs> so what? Okay. All of this. North Spire at 22% when the election began, and now they're at 60. Did you see this coming? Hey, I think I should be first in line at this point of station. I'm just a humble data analyst. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Why would I be afraid of a man in a mask wielding a knife? I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to hurt them. The volunteers at the polling <laughs> <laughs> The government! I get it, you're going to vote. It's democracy. I can get behind that. I'll just get away from it. Thank you. Is that better? Is that better? Yes, yes it is. It's a lot better. You must, you must understand. You must understand. They are trying to control you. You think you're making predictions. Anti-predictions. I don't understand which is which anymore. <laughs> but they are feeding you lies. Well, actually, we've incorporated that into the model. <laughs> you see, we you see we not we not only take the numbers from Ipsos and Ward Ashcroft and Guardian, we also incorporate fake news, meta analysis from Facebook's party of third party fact checkers. As the fake news goes up, the poll reliability goes down, so we in increase the amount of noise that we are representing. And that's why I have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what's going to happen. First, they will play the music. And then the bombs will go off. I know because I put the bombs. <laughs> I'm not making any predictions like you are. <laughs> Bomb all these volunteers? No, the government! <laughs> and sure, some of the volunteers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there were volunteers that blew up when they blew up the Death Star. I mean, but that's a movie, never mind. You don't. Know. <laughs> the point is, they will die so the rest of us can be free. <laughs> But you're going to override the election. You're going to whatever whatever people. Have you not been just... listening to anything I've been saying? Did you not see that monologue? <laughs> I mean, I was talking to myself, but <laughs> I just thought everyone was listening. No, there 
During your during your little speech, you did not mention knives or bombs. You said <laughs> <laughs> I can see where the confusion lies. I used a lot of very complex words. I, I think the point is that I think that the real weapon here is going to be the vote. Because everything is so uncertain, anything could happen. When this country left the European Union, nobody saw that coming. When it crawled on its hands and knees back into the European Union. Okay, everybody saw that coming, but not like that. <laughs> Anything can happen. You don't need to blow up poll workers and civil servants to change the UK. You just need to believe that the people can be trusted with, oh God. <laughs> Do you have any bombs left? <laughs> I'm afraid I have many bombs. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. In fact, you can go and vote. Voting is important. You should exercise your right to vote. And when you vote, and you see that your vote will have no effect because they've rigged the election. <laughs> then you will understand, and I can blow them all. Well, actually, I'm also an American citizen, so I'm, <laughs> I can't go here anyway. I was just here to observe. I'm, I'm live blogging all of this right now. Uh, that's, that's why I'm wearing this GoPro. <laughs> Fair enough. So in that case, Hi to my YouTube fans. Yeah. Hashtag V for Vendetta. <laughs> We're gonna change the world. It's gonna be great. I'm just gonna. <laughs> okay. This is Kate Silver. Live from Manchester. 538.com. Remember to. Bye now. Vote. Please don't kill me. <laughs>